So of course I've already done my spoiler free review where I didn't really go into any plot details or anything, just kind of my general thoughts on the episode. And overall, satisfied with it, but I could see why many people would be disappointed with it, maybe a little confused, and I mentioned a couple problems in there, such as pacing. But overall, pretty enjoyable. So in this video, I'm going to talk about it in a more spoilery fashion and talk about some of the twists in the episode. So as always, before we get into this, let me just remind you that audio commentaries are coming back to the member section today. Episode one will be out now that that is out of the way. So this episode honestly had a couple times where I was pulled out of it. I almost felt like I was Steven myself. And the reason for that isn't anything that's wrong with the actual show, the writing or anything like that. It's actually mostly because of the CG in the episode, specifically the car chase that happens in this first episode really pulled me out of it because opposed to everything else that had going on in the series, it was the weakest looking part with the worst CG. And you could almost see that they just needed a little bit more time. Now, at the same time, in this episode, we get a lot of development. We get to actually, right out the gate, see the villain. Literally, like, he's the first thing we see. We're not waiting for some sort of big reveal, some sort of twist, some sort of something else where everything's kind of had this formula in the MCU. We get to see Arthur. We get to see his cult-like uh, approach to controlling people and why they believe he has the power he says he does because... Well, he does. And it's really interesting to see how they pulled that off where he's kind of judging people and then they'll, um, you know, either pass or die for being a sinner, which I really appreciate. And we get more insight in this in regards to what exactly is going on with the characters here in terms of identity and who exactly we are following. And again, we get a little bit of a hint towards who Mark Spector is and that he was definitely into the more violent side of, um, you know, the three personalities in here. And most of the episode, as we follow Steven, we get to see that Spectre, if he's allowed to take control, it gets real bloody real fast. And I do like that because, again, they're sticking with what works in the comics. And that approach to me really worked on a different level also because it connected to how fragmented and all over the place Steven's mind was in terms of how he jumps around like when he sees Khonshu and when he's in one location and suddenly he's in another like you get that frantic wait who just took over and what happened and I appreciate that they did that specifically with how they were able to bounce back and forth and kind of tell you man this guy's life is terrible because he doesn't know what's going on now whether he's done something to forget or what the bigger picture here is we don't really know just yet but i really did like all the twists and turns that they were taking in this episode and they ride they brought us on i can definitely tell it's not going to be for everybody i have some problems with it but overall it's an interesting new take on the mcu 